This is the happiest music I've ever heard. I, I, I remember seeing this movie years ago, probably a 70s or 80s film about a computer that wrote the best song on earth. Oh yeah! And like everybody was happy and dancing and it was like the greatest happiest song ever and maybe that computer wrote the Mario Kart music. I don't know how these Nintendo people managed to, to write music that's happy and upbeat yet not annoying beyond comprehension. Maybe the computer did it. Mario Kart DS was released in 2005 and remains one of the best selling Nintendo DS games ever. As I review this in 2009, to me it looks like the precursor to Mario Kart Wii. It's a very good game, but for handheld gaming, Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance is better. Ah, insert shouting and screaming and then silent comprehension. Think about it. Yeah. You don't have to take my word for it. You can buy Super Circuit and Mario Kart DS that both play on your DS for about 20 or 30 bucks now combined. Maybe a bit more, but they're worth it. They're both fun games and totally different in some ways. The one thing the DS does give you that Game Boy Advance did not is that second screen where you get a top-down perspective on the race. You can actually just drive by watching the bottom screen. It's very handy for finding out who's behind you. Anyway, I'm not going to spend the whole review comparing the two of them. I've previously reviewed Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance. I love it. It's a terrific game. Mario Kart DS and its big brother Mario Kart Wii are made for multiplayer. They're really fun games to pick up and play, challenge other players. They're rowdy, wild, crash and bang arcade style driving games. Some of the earlier installments in the series like Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo and Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance penalized you for hitting other players, you'd lose coins. I'm not as familiar with Mario Kart 64 yet, I'll get there eventually. But with Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii, they made this series more accessible for everybody. And while playing the tracks over and over again and memorizing them does help, if you're only moderately good or you're playing a whole bunch of your friends over those DS connection things, it's like the playing field is relatively equal. Because if you're near the back of the pack, you'll pick up that bullet or something that'll throw you towards the front of the pack of carts, or if you're in first place, somebody will blow you up with the flying shell and send you back into last place. They're cool games to just dive in and play. If you really want to get sucked into the actual driving, I find the older ones are better. Most of what I would probably say about this game I covered in my Mario Kart Wii review, except here you get it on a smaller Mario Kart DS that you can take with you. This is easily one of the best DS games out there, no question. It's well made, it sounds great, the controls are easy to use. It doesn't needlessly shove the DS stylus control down your throat, and it actually uses both screens effectively. You also get more than 30 tracks, including a number of the awesome classic ones. The tracks started getting larger and more crazy as the series progressed. Mario Kart DS gives you a nice selection of old and new ones. No doubt many of you watching this already have Mario Kart DS, in which case I would recommend check out Mario Kart Super Circuit on, on, the, on the Game Boy Advance. See if you like the changes between the two. If you have a DS that plays Game Boy Advance carts, it should plug right in and play on the top screen. Many of the tracks in this game are in Mario Kart Wii, so if you're familiar with that game, which I play a lot, I love Mario Kart Wii. I mean, they're all great games, it's, it's like splitting hairs talking about which one is better than the other one. It's like arguing over whether a lager is better than a pilsner. You should just have both of them. Leave no beer behind.
Also, for those of us who are Mario Kart Wii fans, there's a lot of the same tracks in this game, but they're like different versions of the same track. It's like playing the same track again for the thousandth time the first time. See, that's where some front-mounted machine guns would have worked really well. For those interested, this does have wireless DS single card download play and wireless DS multi-card play. It does not do interspecies wireless DS to non-wireless Game Boy Advance play, however. That would be like a logger mating with a porter. You know, depending on how you spell that, that actually is plausible. <laughs> You see, that, that stupid shell ruins so many races. You should be able to beat the crap out of whoever used that on you after each race. Oh, well, if you're playing next to your friend, you can. That's the game, Mario Kart DS. Thanks to my buddy Dan for loaning me the game cartridge for a while. And if you've never played any of the Mario Kart games, it's never too late to start.